instrumental things happened to me as a child, from Bowie to Iggy, uh, Freddie Mercury, Axel, Scott Weiland, Lane. I loved all those guys. I just happened to be one, so hey, might as well embrace it. So this record, Back to Momo, is as rock and roll as you get. I got to write this with Todd Youth, who's someone I grew up with watching uh, New York City punk rock and hardcore bands. He's someone I really respect a lot, and uh, he's someone who I didn't have to explain to him, yo man, you gotta check out this band or that band, like we understood each other right from the gate. This record is, to me, where the other three records are about darkness and my pain, this record is about um, letting go of the pain and you know, letting go of all that all the ties that binded me for so long and uh, just enjoying my life and being free. The fact that Doug Goldstein, who managed Guns N' Roses, said to me that Back to Momo is the best record he's heard since Appetite for Destruction can almost bring me to tears. I tried to get in touch with that guy for 15 years and I've always said when the time is right, those people are going to come to me. And that's exactly what happened. He heard Live and Well Smack in the Middle of Hell, heard the rest of the record, and then called me, he came to my house, and we signed a contract. Doug Goldstein is an amazing guy with an amazing track record, and I'm so excited to be working with him. I mean, I can even tell you. The song Alive and Well Smack in the Middle of Hell is basically about being able to survive in the big city. Uh, despite what goes on around you and being able to sustain and survive in that both physically, spiritually and mentally and um, that song touches on all these things that ran my life for so long that by just saying so I was able to let go of it. The video Alive and Well Smack in the Middle of Hell was so much fun. It was, uh, you know, my son was there. We had a micro there, which is the uh, PC word for uh, midget nowadays. And uh, we had Janine, who was a contract vivid girl who was beautiful and sexy and spun me out for a few days. It was fun, it was, it was in good spirit. Everyone had a great time. <laughs> My reputation has to be one of the worst in town. I'm really proud of it because I haven't had to go out at all in the last like 10 years because people just keep me in the mix by talking about stories when I was 20 years old and shit. But um, you know, those days are long behind me. Um, I wouldn't be alive if they weren't.